Each year, College of DuPage recognizes two graduates whose achievements truly demonstrate determination and success. First, Images gets acquainted with presidential scholar and English major, Julian Anderson of Wheaton. I chose COD because I thought it just made a lot of sense financially, especially once I was offered the presidential scholarship. I also found it really interesting that there was such a variety of people here at COD. In most four-year universities, you just get you know, your typical college student about my age. At COD, there's a lot of diversity, not only with people from different backgrounds, but in different age groups. They're so driven, and it's so nice to be surrounded by people who are also driven because, you know, if you aren't, it's easy to let yourself slip a little bit, but being around people who care so much just increases the amount of effort that you want to put in to really match that and support what they're doing. I've had a great experience at COD with the facilities. It's just really a beautiful campus. I'm just really impressed with what COD has managed to do here. I mean, it's amazing. And I think people tend to underestimate COD because, you know, oh, it's a community college, but it's wonderful here. I really like it. I came into COD not really sure where I wanted to go, which is another reason COD made sense for me. It gave me time to get my gen ed credits done and really figure out where I wanted to go next without the pressure of paying $20,000 a year to do that. So I came in as an English major, not really sure what I wanted to do with English. I know that I like writing, I've always liked writing. And then beginning of this year, I was considering becoming a librarian. I took a course in it. I haven't had a professor here who's been anything but supportive and it's been really great to help me figure out where I wanna go next. And it's been a winding road, but essentially I'm back to being an English major right now and I'm going to ISU next year, and my focus now is in publishing studies. So I guess the moral here is that I definitely am glad that I came here and didn't pay through the nose to go from one major to another to another, back to the first one. When I found out I was the outstanding graduate, I told my mom immediately, and we both, you know, had a little happy dance moment. I'm just really excited and honored that I was chosen. As a part of this group of individuals, you become a part of something amazing. There are so many amazing experiences that you can have here, and I know that when I first came here, I was a little worried about the social aspect because, you know, you aren't in this forced proximity that you are in dorm rooms, and you aren't living in this tiny college town of people only your age. But I think that COD is actually a really great environment to make long-term friends. I think one of the key things is to know what you're interested in and try to find groups that mirror those interests because you'll find people that you identify with and you want to connect with and you will connect with and keep in touch with. So don't worry too much about the fact that you won't be in a dorm. Don't worry if people think that, you know, oh, community colleges have this stigma because College of DuPage, you get really amazing support from all of your professors. It's a great classroom environment. The entire campus. It's just been a really great experience. I'm really happy that I chose College of DuPage. Hanover Park resident Leticia Lozano also received the honor of Outstanding Graduate. Images spoke with her, learning about the path she traveled to College of DuPage and the inspiration she found here to pursue her passionate interests in science. So I finally had an opportunity to come back to school and I really like the idea of College of DuPage because if you're not sure 100% of what you want to do, this is a great place to come. I mean, the resources are ridiculous. I mean, it's pretty impressive, you know, if you want to do studio work, culinary, sciences. So the resources I went walking through was pretty impressive. So I was like, I know who I am as a person. I know I'm a very hard worker. I just needed the tools to see what could I become. And so when I walked around the campus, I saw nothing but tools and opportunity. And I was like, this is the place for me. When I came back to school, it taught me a completely other lesson. You know, I, I definitely felt vulnerable. It, it was after close to 20 years, um, but you know, since then, I have definitely embraced this feeling of vulnerability is a good thing. You know, it's an uncomfortable thing, but it's a necessary thing. I use it almost as if it's a compass to say this is where I need to go. You know, so if I feel I'm not sure about myself about something, instead of shying away from it and only holding on to the things I'm good at. I said, this is exactly where I need to go because it's going to make me grow the most. I have been extremely fortunate to, to be introduced to some amazing professors that took what I thought I could do and just 
amplified it by a hundred. They gave me the support that I, that I really needed. I didn't even know I needed. I love the idea of finding new perspectives on things and they just opened my eyes. You know, they weren't just educators, but they, they were mentors and they gave me a great way of seeing things and saying, what's the possibilities? And, you know, I came in here with, you know, some minimal expectations, I'll, I'll admit. But now, you know what, I really can do anything. I could go into biomedical engineering. I could be a doctor. I mean, the sky's the limit. And a big part of that is because of the teachers here. I've met some extremely impressive people, intelligent, just creative people. And they just, to feel like I was amongst them and picked, you know, to represent my school was so humbling to me. Just knowing that I did more than just keep up with which, which was my original expectation was just to keep up. And now I'm graduating with a 4.0. I've got an A in every class that I've touched. I'm dreaming about things that I never thought I would originally dream about. Being picked for outstanding graduate was just a great cherry on my cake. It feels like a, not an end of a journey, but a beginning of a really, really awesome journey because I know that beyond this point, nothing but good things are gonna happen in my life.